Okay, so curiosity got to me again, and this is the last purchase of 2022, because today is the last day of 2022, so time has stopped me from uh, yet getting another guitar. So I think, seriously, uh, this is it for the year, and um, I think I'm strapped at this point <laughs> in terms of my budget, so I'm going to stick with what I've got for a while. And uh, let's talk about this guy. So, there's not a lot of reviews on this guitar, so I figured I'd uh, at least provide one. Um, there are a couple of them on YouTube in Italian. And although I am of Italian heritage, I do not speak nor understand the language. So, <laughs> although the reviews were very good, I'm sure, uh, I didn't understand, uh, uh, unfortunately, um, a lot of what was going on. So, in any event, this is the Donner Dio Series acoustic guitar. No electronics, acoustic guitar. It's model S410C. And what struck me about this thing was that um, the, there was they claimed to have a lot of different design factors. <clears throat> excuse me, design factors that make this guitar appealing and different. So I said, okay, Donner, I was very happy with the electric I bought. They make pretty decent equipment at a budget price. Let me see what this thing is all about. Now, the interesting thing about this model is on the Donner website, it's gone. There's no information on this series, this DO series of guitars. So I'm not sure if it was a colossal failure and they decided to no longer promote these guitars or sell them, or if they're just adding this line again into the website. The website is not one of the better aspects of Donner, unfortunately. They have a very, very poor web website, in my opinion. Um, hardly much details on the instruments on the website. Um, just, a, just a poorly designed website, but that's a whole other story. Um, as long as their gear is good, we'll, we'll let the website slip. But no information on this thing. So the only information on the guitar is on uh, Amazon, where I bought it, and the, the few reviews that are on, uh, on YouTube. So... What is the guitar? It is, as you can see, no electronics. It is a fairly big bodied, um, I would say a dread with a cutaway. That's the best way I can describe the shape of this guitar. Donner's description that's on Amazon claims that um, they use AAA timber on this guitar, whatever that means. I'm assuming it means the quality of the wood uh, they use to construct this thing. My opinion, and again, this is not a sponsored video. This is average Joe's hard-earned money buying these things. Uh, this is not AAA timber by any stretch of the imagination. It is cheap lumber, as best I can describe. Now, I don't know how well you can see some of this stuff, but there are little imperfections and, and glitches all over the finish of this guitar. Um, you can't really see it well in this webcam that I'm using here, but trust me, there are some here, discolorations in the finish, um, ugly blem type things going on on the front of the guitar. Uh, it's not AAA timber. Um, this is, a, is supposed to be a solid spruce top, which it looks like, and mahogany sides and back, which are laminate, obviously. Um, it's not a bad looking back of the guitar. It's all matte finish. There is a little bit of mahogany wood, you know, figuring on the guitar. Um, but the finishing process needs some work from Donner. That's where they're lacking on this particular one. Um, also, you know, the neck, for example. Looks like it has a scarf joint or something going on in the back of the neck. And there is um, roughness to it. You can't really see it on this side at the base of the neck, but there's roughness in the finishing around where they have this particular connection on the back of the neck. Um, they also have like a skunk stripe on the neck going all along the neck through the headstock, and that's part of this construction, which I'll be getting to. So this particular neck on this guitar is supposed to be a thread neck, what Donner calls a thread neck, which means that it's some sort of hybrid neck technology that they use, right? Um, to vary the density of the neck from the first fret through the last fret of the guitar. So 
wherever you're playing on the guitar, it's supposed to be an optimal density of the neck from a comfort standing, a comfort playing standpoint. I'm playing this thing. I've only had it a short time. Um, I don't really notice it, to be honest with you. It's not an uncomfortable feeling neck. I would say, you know, it's a, it's it's not a thin neck. It's not a thin, thick neck. It's sort of in between. Uh, feels like a, a V type of a neck. It has an odd V shape to it. Um, it's okay. I, I guess I'm still getting used to it. A, a neck is no issue to me. What's nice about this guitar, though, is what they've done on the neck, whatever they did in the, on the... Uh, setup of the guitar, the design of the fretboard and neck, is that the action on this thing is absolutely incredible. So, I mean, I can play chords all the way, you know, all the way down here, and the axis is good, but the string height is low. The higher you go on this guitar, it's the same string height as it is down here. It's very consistent. Where on some of these budget guitars, the action is fairly good in the cowboy chord area over here. But when you get over here, the action is horrible. It gets high. Here, it's very even and level all along the fretboard, which is highly unusual. Very, very easy playing, comfortable playing um, neck fretboard on this guitar. So that that's uh, and kudos to Donna for whatever the hell they did on the design on that. Um... The other big thing on this guitar is that it has rounded fret ends. It was described as having them, and sure as hell has them on this guitar. I don't know how well you could see that, but the fret ends are rounded. And the neck even seems rounded uh, on the fretboard. So there's absolutely no sharp fret ends anywhere on this guitar. Very, very comfortable to play, which is great if you're having a student or a child play this thing. It's very easy to play because the action is low and there's no sharp frets. So that's positive right out of the box. The fretboard is described as being tech ebony. So I guess it's a darker colored painted fretboard and it's not rosewood but it's tech wood. It's some synthetic um, wood that they use on the fretboard but it's fine. I mean it's a nice looking fretboard. It's smooth. It's not it's not um, dry or anything, it's perfectly fine. I mean, the fretboard is actu actually nice on this guitar, and I'm assuming that the bridge is the same as the fretboard, this tech wood. Bridge is interesting, right? It's a different looking bridge. They use this design, and they claim holds tune and stability better. Different looking. Um, seems to work fine. The tuners are Donner stamped tuners on the guitar, and they're smooth. They work well. Holds tune. I mean, this is a brand new guitar, brand new strings. It hasn't been losing tune much since I've been playing it, which is nice. So the tuners feel good. They don't slip or stick. Um, what else? I mentioned before, it's a matte finish guitar. The whole guitar is matte finish. No gloss on this thing. So if you like matte finish, you got it. Um, oh, the fret markers. Yeah, they're really small dots, and they have an interesting pattern on them, as you can see which is nice. I don't have any issue with that. They're kind of different. Um, X bracing in the guitar. You can't really see it with my camera here, but there is X bracing inside this guitar from a design standpoint. The nut on the guitar, again, no, nothing from Donner on this. So I'm assuming it is a synthetic nut of some sort. I don't believe it's a bone nut or saddle on this guitar. But it's cut, cut fine. Um, Setup on this thing was really beautiful. No buzzing and extremely low action, which I love. So that much is, is great from a Donner standpoint. Um, the guitar is normally $159.99. Amazon has it uh, for 19% off for $129.99. Now, $129.99 for this guitar. Let me just show you. Um, we can bring the gig bag. Bear with me one second. I will get it. So, it comes with this gig bag here, which is the best gig bag I've ever had included with a guitar. It's, it's, a, it's, it's got a form to it, a shape of the actual acoustic guitar. It has very nice thick padding inside the case. It has a spot in the case here where you can put the guitar and secure it with Velcro, the neck of the guitar. Just a beautiful... Beautiful gig bag. Definitely something you can use to 
transport the guitar safely and, and store the guitar and with the Donner, that logo they have here on the gig bag, which is kind of neat. Very, very nice gig bag. I would say on its own, this thing is easily 50, 60 bucks, maybe more. Nice gig, nice heavy duty gig bag. And as always, with the guitar comes their little goodies, which I haven't even opened yet. I uh, haven't had a need to adjust anything on the guitar yet, so um, I wasn't really that interested in what is in here. But let's take a look. Let's take a look. So, comes with uh, a capo, the Donner capo, which um, is a nice, nice little throw in. Inexpensive set of 11s, extra strings for the guitar. Their usual Donner stamped tuner, electronic tuner, which is okay. Digital tuner. These are they're throw-ins. I mean, it's nice if you don't have one. I mean, they're not as good as the better branded ones that you have on the market. Um, but they, if in, in a pinch, if you need a tuner, these things do work. Um, a little cloth, cleaning cloth for the guitar. This looks like a gold watch. No, I'm just kidding. It's a uh, Donner logoed guitar strap, but it is a nice, seems like a fairly well-made uh, guitar strap. And finally, Allen wrench to just obviously the neck relief on the guitar. I thought there might have been thrown in here a, um, a pick, you know, one of those stick-on pick guards, which would have been a nice touch because this doesn't come with one. For those of you that are heavy strummers, you're going to eventually shred this top of the guitar, but, but they didn't throw it in, which is fine. I don't think the guitar comes with one to begin with, so they can't throw it in, but that's just if Donner's watching, it might be a nice add-in instead of some of this, instead of the cleaning cloth, put in a, a pick guard. Um... Back to the guitar. Oh, one other thing I want to show you. One of the, just one more thing, as Columbo would say. This thing ships with this box. And inside the box is another box that has a form-fitting uh, piece of cardboard where the guitar is inside this case, inside another box that slips into here, almost like what Fender does with their higher-end guitars. Great way of boxing this thing. So this guitar unlike some of the other guitars, were packaged absolutely stellar from Donner on this model. Also on the, on the box, as you can see, and I'll turn it this way, like a blueprint of the architecture of the guitar. Inside the guitar, the design, the bracing, how the neck is, the, the relief points, uh, the bridge. It's really interesting. It's a blueprint of the mechanics, I guess, and the technology that they used in this guitar which is kind of neat. And then on the front, it just goes over. You can see this. It's upside down. We'll turn it this way. Uh, you know, the components of the guitar, right? You can see that. The wood, the saddles, blah, blah, blah. Just a nice touch from Donner. Um, I've never quite honestly seen that on the outside box of the guitar before. But... Um, yeah, so if you're looking for an inexpensive, solid top, bare bones acoustic guitar, no electronics, with a decent sound, and this thing does have a decent sound in terms of, you know, mids, highs, and lows. Um, I think it's a decent, it's a, it's a pretty good value for $130 with all this stuff thrown in a, a great gig bag case and these nice additional um, accessories. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely a, a good guitar, a nice sounding guitar, and, and something that is not too hard on the eyes. Now, could have they done a little bit of better job with the quality control, the finishing, and, and on the front? Yeah, but I mean, at this price point, you got to expect that, right? But I'll play out some, uh, some more chords so you can hear what the thing sounds like.
S410C DO series acoustic guitar. If you have any questions, put them below. If you find these reviews helpful, please subscribe. And as always, guys, until the next time, be well and stay safe. And have a blessed and happy new year. Take care.